Planet Coaster's simulation is really, really advanced. It's far more advanced than anything I've ever seen before. Nowadays, the guests themselves have almost real brains. We call it the guest brain. Every single element within the game, the characters try to calculate and register all the time. They're walking around, taking in the environment, and everything has an influence on them. Every piece of scenery you put down, all the rides, everything controls and drives the guests towards something so they understand where they're going, what they want to do, and they all have their own desires and needs, and they feel like real people. Now that we're playing scenarios, the gameplay starts to kind of really kind of come to the fore. It's great to see it kind of coming together now. It justifies, I think, a lot of the work that we've put into those park relationships and in, into the guest brain, because actually it makes for more satisfying and deep gameplay. The guest brain is the um, sort of the central AI component that drives all the guest decision making. It's what determines when a guest is at point A, what they're going to go and what they want to do next. So we feed in all their needs, like how hungry they are, how tired they are, whether they need a toilet. They look at all the rides around them and they compare those with their preferences. So if they want a thrill ride and they see a coaster, that's good. If they're a family and they see a carousel, then that's obviously more appropriate for them. And the guest brain is what takes all this information in and decides from this what the group wants to do right now. The guest brain is the way that we talk about intelligence and decision making of guests in our park. Guests evaluate your park constantly while they're walking through and they're constantly reassessing everything around them. This is of course really, really useful for making sure that guests navigate believably around your park so the guests are going to the most attractive rides, the best rides in your park. They're the ones that the guests are most interested in, but also that they're considering other things when they're navigating, you know, how far is the ride? Is there a transport ride I can use to get there quicker? Transport rides are, they're rides in their own right. Occasionally a guest will see a transport ride and just think, that looks fun, I'll go on that. You can have a bigger park, you can spread out your themed areas, and then you can connect them together with transport rides. They'll have a, an overarching destination that they want to get to. They'll say, that ride over there looks really cool. But if they've got to, to walk 500 metres, or they could take the Connie Express, for 300 of those meters, then they'll, they'll weigh up that decision in their heads and some of them will walk and some of them will take that transport ride. That to me is what makes it simulation of all because everyone has money and everyone has a ticking brain. A lot of simulation going on, coupled with the crowd and the audio. It's a real life park unlike we've ever had. Planet Coaster has unlimited creativity, but also running alongside that is this advanced and sophisticated simulation which basically works in harmony with the guest brain and the creativity of the player. So whenever you're placing objects down, everyone within the park will react, all your people will see all this amazing scenery you're putting down and these amazing creations and, and they'll react in a way that takes this whole thing to the next level. So when you build stuff, you're building something for a purpose. So the simulation side actually has an advantage to you being more creative. So the more creative you are, the better the simulation and the better simulation, the more creative you are.